Hey, this is Cray with Oversight Shooting Technologies. I'm making this video today to help you understand how the see all sights adjust and then also how to fix some adjustments if uh, you were to click the threads out of where they should be or, or different things like that. So to start off with, this will work for, this is the see all night pistol sight. Um, it will also work for the see all night rail mount sight and then also the see all open sight mod 2 so all of this body style so first off I don't know if I can get the camera to see it but there is a nut inside this polycarbonate plastic the guts and then also it's threaded in the block here so this screw has two different threads on it so that means that if you screw this screw in this block has to move it had there's no other way that it couldn't because as this threads going in this threads going in so that block has to move when you're threading it in so one of the problems is is that sometimes you thread it a little too far and this will go all the way through this aluminum block if that's the case we'll thread it all the way in there say we thread it all the way in and it goes clear in and once it goes through, at this point, it's going to keep threading into that nut, but obviously you're out of threads in the block, so the sight's actually going to start coming towards you. And I've seen a lot of people do this, and they'll keep going, and then it'll stop finally, but as you can see, this block's moved all the way back over here. So now if you try to screw it back out, it's going to start back into these screws, but then you're going to bind that screw up, and it's gonna stop on you. So I'll go a little farther. Anyway, as you can see, it's pinned all the way against that side, side, and it binds that screw up. So what you gotta do is screw that back all the way in, and then you're gonna have to push the sight back over, either with your nail or pushing on your Allen wrench. Or whatever you have to do to make it so it's pinned against that side when this starts back into the threads and that'll get your adjustment back to where it was so now you could actually take the screw clear out so this is what the screw looks like as you can see it's got the two different threads on there so the other problem here too that some people run into that because you can pull this screw out and it's not going to hurt anything in the sight, but this nut, it has wiggle room in there. It can fall down to the base of the sight or it can be up here in the top. So when you put this screw back in, you have to make sure that this screw starts into that nut. So when you push it in here, usually you hold the sight kind of upside down so that nut falls in to place. And then you'll get that screw to start into that nut and then it will start into the block. And so at that point you can just screw it in. And the reason sometimes we have people take this out is if your gun's far enough off that you need to be able to push the block farther this way with, without screwing the screw all the way through this block is you can screw this out until your threads are just barely hanging out here and you can push a little. If I can get it to do it, see? Push a little and move the block a little and then start these threads back in and that'll give you way more adjustment to push it towards this side if your gun needs that if your rails a little off or or just for some reason you can't get enough adjustment going to that side so that's mostly what you'll need to know for your left and right adjustment and uh, should be able to get everything worked out especially because now you'll know exactly how that whole system works. The other one is the elevation adjustment. Works the same way. You can see the nut in there and then also the block is threaded. So same type of deal. The screw has two different threads on it. So this one where you can run into problems. A good way to remember is if you want your bullet to go down you'll you'll thread the screw down. So um, clockwise for the bolt to go down and if you want the bullet to go up you'll start threading the screw up so counterclockwise so say you go all the way down 
you can go down until you know it looks like this screw is about to go through that silver nut and you don't want to go any farther than that if you get to that point and you need more adjustment you ran out that's a real simple fix you just screw this out and you'll come clear up and it'll start even hanging out the top here a little bit and you'll go until you hear this click So there it popped up a thread. You'll feel it, you'll see it move up, and that'll put you one thread higher, which will give you a lot more adjustment in that direction. Now if your problem the other way is you were adjusted clear out, trying to get it sighted in, and you got right up to here and it and it popped up a thread without you wanting it to, well you're gonna be way far off now. So at this point you can even take this out if you want and show you what this screw looks like real quick. So that's this one, your elevation screw. Put that back in, take your thumb or something and push this all the way until it's flat against the bottom. And if you go all the way flat like that and then thread this back in, that's gonna put you a thread lower than it even came to you stock and uh, that'll give you way more direct, way more adjustment in that direction. So as far as the elevation goes, you should be able to get your gun sighted in. I mean, 95% of the ch times, it's gonna be set in the right thread for you because we bore sight every one of these before they leave to a pretty standard uh, gun that we got the bore sight. Um, I don't know what you want to call them, but anyway, what we use to bore sight them, to set it up. And uh, so let me look at my notes, make sure that's everything I wanted to go over. Oh, I wanted to mention that about a sixteenth of a turn of one of these screws is about an inch at 100 yards. So that'll give you an idea of how far you're moving when you're threading this screw. Another big thing to remember is it's better to just put this thing on the gun and go sight it in. It'll most likely be pretty close. The easiest way to mess up your adjustment right off the bat is to just put an Allen wrench and start turning away and seeing how far, what ways it'll go. Um, that's where you can get, um, you can screw it all the way through the block or certain things like that. So it's better to just go mount this on your gun and just sight it in and don't play with it, in other words. Um, I think that's about everything I wanted to go over. The Allen wrenches we give you, they are meant to strip before you'll ever hurt these screws. So if you were to bind it up like I showed at that first part, you'll actually strip that Allen wrench first. So know that as well. If, if nothing seems to be moving at all, there's a good chance that it's your Allen wrench that's stripped because we have carbon tip bits and you'll even break one of those before you strip one of these screws. So. As long as those screws are moving, something in the sight has to be moving because it's all mechanical. There's, it, there's no way for it not to move if that screw is turning as long as it's in that nut and screwing into that sidewall. So make sure if you do have questions beyond what this video um, answered as far as your questions to give us a call or email us and we'll be able to help you out if you do have any other questions or problems. Thanks for watching.